hello today is about growing nice proper true yam here in the uk growing yam in the uk <music> Planting some yellow Jamaican yam here in the UK. Let's see if it's going to be successful. So just some multi-purpose compass. And then I have my yam in water. I literally just peel my yellow yam. Today is Monday, so three days ago. And you can, and you can see the little roots coming up. There's my root. So my yam is rooting. The only thing is, because I cut off the bottom of the yam, I'm not even sure what position to put it in, in the soil. So everything going to be an experiment. I'm thinking I'm going to put it that way and put the cut bit to the top. Let's see if it works. So that's my yam here in the UK. And the thing was, this was a nice, dry, yellow yam. Most time in the UK, you get them a bit, don't taste nice and not fitting out. But this was a good one. And I peeled the yam and I was just saying, okay, let's experiment. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to cover it with some dirt on top. Hopefully it works. So I can get some yam to harvest in summer here in the UK. So I put about an inch, I would say. Oops, that's more than an inch now. An inch of soil on top so that's my compass and then all i'm going to do now is water it in and hopefully in two three weeks i should have a vine coming up of nice jamaica yellow yam so let's see if the experiment work never tried it before never ever tried to grow yam here i don't know why when i was peeling the yam this time i decided to save it but let's see if it's a successful. So, see you in a few weeks' time. Bye-bye. Hello, it's now two months since I started my experiment to grow yam in the UK. It worked. I'm growing the yam in the UK. Look at the stem. This is my nice yellow yam. You can see the thorny bits. Hopefully you can see. Uh, it is beautiful i can't believe it actually worked imagine i didn't have like the proper yam seed or anything like that so i didn't really expect it to work it's just an experiment but now we can see i have yam growing yam is growing in the uk so today we're going to plant all but not only that i have another surprise for you so this was the yellow yam that you saw me cutting and rooting and everything like that and it's going on beautifully but there's another surprise i got a nice white yellow um white yam which is a yellow yam nice white one so this is the white one i can't remember what that call it but this is the white powdery nice one and you can see the stamp is totally different so guys we've been having yam in the uk so what i'm going to do today i'm going to pot them up in grow bags because usually they take like between 9 to 12 months they're about to mature so if i need to move them then it will be much easier if they're in bags so i can move them for protection so my experiment is working i have nice pretty juicy yam growing here in the uk so i'm going to take you now on the journey of us planting all these beauties and then I'm going to stake them up and everything. I'm so excited. Cold, cold UK. These germinated indoors. No grow light. One was on the windowsill. That's it. No eating much. No nothing. And it germinated. Yeah, I normally like sandy soil. I don't have any sandy soil. So I went and buy some sand. So I'm going to have it. I had um, normal multi-purpose compost in here. And I had some coffee grounds to encourage the worm to come in. So I'm going to add sand to both of the bags to make it as sandy as possible. Sand is so heavy. Oh, oh. 
super heavy. I'm going to add some to both of the bags and then I'm going to just mix it in. So that's the sand. So hopefully it's, I feel like it's wet. It's so, so just mix it in. Imagine if it grows in the UK, it's going to be so nice to produce some yam in the UK. Then I have to get some nice, um, sturdy yam stick to put in here so they can run up so guys just before the frost come i'll be showing the stage that my yam is at so i'm just gonna mix everything in get the soil nice and loose so this is my compost and my sun combining to get nice drainage because usually if the drainage is not that good then it's like carrots and you're just gonna split sand spread out and go all over so i need nice draining for sand so personally i'm not somebody who goes much for yam i normally prefer um sweet potato but if you have the nice dry yam then i'm all for that but you know sometimes the yams are not that nice sometimes especially with yellow yam sometimes it is a bit bitter Sometimes that is caused by probably not harvesting on time. They have that bitter taste. So you see the dirt is nice and loose now, combined with the sun. That's the texture we're looking for. Then we're gonna go and do the same with over there. So now with yam, yam can be used instead of potatoes. And guys, when I'm talking about yam today, I'm talking about true proper yam. I'm not talking about sweet potato because sometimes sweet potato, they use it interchangeable, but it's not yam. Sweet potato is different than yam. So when I'm talking about yam, I'm talking proper, true yam that come all the way from Africa. And then it was carried over by the slaves to Jamaica. And that's where you have the nice, proper Jamaica yellow yam. Okay? So I'm not talking about potatoes today. Not potatoes. I'm going proper yam. So when I take it out of the dirt, you will see it's proper, proper yam I'm talking about today. So this bag is heavy, so when you're planting up your yam in the final location, make sure you put the bags so you can see some of the coffee grung that haven't been crushed yet. So you're just coffee grung, multi-purpose compost. You know, just like when they take it out of the filter machine, you can see it like that. And these will encourage the worm to come in. So instead of using potatoes, you know, like mashed potatoes or roast potatoes or boiled potatoes you can use yam instead yam is very good and it produces loads i mean if you're in the tropics or the subtropics you'll be able to continuously reap your yam produce it produces so much so that's my yam soil all nice and fluffy and nice free draining soil like that that's what you want for your yam so, the first one I'm going to do is the yellow yam. I'm just intrigued how spine and everything it is. So, let's take it out and see how root bone it is. This is more than two months. So, guys, in gardening, you do need a lot of patience because you would have started this and you would have think, okay, a month pass, month and a half pass, nothing happening. But guys, something is happening. You just have to be patient. There's no gardening. It's all about patience. So let's go and prove to you that this is not no yam seed or yam air. This is just a slice of yam. There's my slice. You know, usually buy the yam at the shop and this bit, you just slice it off and you peel in the yam and then you put this in the bin. Next time, please, don't put it in the bin. As you see previously, I just slice it and root it. So this is my nice, I'm so excited. If only you know, because I love to experiment with tropical things here in the UK. So yam is a big thing for me. I think I'm burning it about probably three inches deep there about. Oh, so excited about yam good in the UK. And then I just cover it like that. That's my first yam planted. So that's my yellow yam. All planted there. Hopefully, you can see. 
so that's my yellow yam there it is and then i'm going to plant my white yam so all i need now is some breadfruit and aki to go with it so if anyone can get me some aki seed much appreciated because i'm going to continue the experiment i'm just um, patting it down just want the air pockets out and i'm going to water it in then i'm going to go to my it's a bit warm today you probably hear me puffing a bit it got warm up so this is a white yam this one grows totally different there's no spine um thorn or anything on this one this is the original stem that i'm used to these are most of the yams i see in jamaica so i'm going to tease this one out as well this one is a bit root bound you can see you have much more root mass than the yellow yam so see if we can get this one out without damaging it much i was so excited when i saw this popping through guys if only you know how excited i was so let's see if i can show you the cutting so this one is slightly different now so this yam there's the yam that i cut off so when i bought the yam this have a little bit like a yam you know like the yam made so to speak the bottom of the yam so this bit was there and you can see it root much more vigorously than the other one and the stem is much much different guys aren't you excited i'm gonna be going yam in the uk so when it's harvest time and you want a slice of yam or you want a yam come and find me you can get some yam to buy so put this in and then guys i'm so excited i can't believe i'm actually doing a video here in the uk showing you guys that i'm going yam in the uk if only you know how excited i am so that's my white yam that's my yellow yam and then i'm going to just water them in now and then i'm going to get some steak steak them up because you know if you know anything about true yam they need strong trellis to run up because these are strong things strong 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 so you need some strong trellis so what i'm going to do now is just water my yam in so guys experiment you know go out your comfort zone try and grow something that don't normally grow in your region sometimes we never know what can grow until we try because sometimes people have tried and it have failed and they will reach a conclusion to say it's totally impossible but it may be impossible for them but try i'm growing guinep i'm growing sweet sap i'm growing sour sap i'm growing um proper dates sweet date palm I'm growing so much tropical things, glycy, all those things. So guys, please, go out your comfort zone. Don't just take what everyone say, work or doesn't work. You try and see if it works for you. And then you determine if it can work in your climate. But go out your comfort zone. Do something, grow something that don't naturally grow in your climate. Guys, I'm growing yum yam here in cold cold uk so i'm going to take it down now and show you exactly what they look like in the final home it's my yellow yam thorny spiny yellow yam guys i'm so 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 excited all i need now is to watch this grow up nice and beautiful so i can actually harvest my own yam head my, my nice nice fresh yam in the uk guys if only you know how excited I am. so that's my yellow yam and this is my white yam over here so guys all my viewers subscribers have you grown yam in cold regions before please comment below let me know how you got on did it reach harvest did they get a nice yam from it i'll be super excited to learn from you how you got on so guys this is cold 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 uk so i'm super excited so if any of you guys have experiment or known anyone grow yam to maturity in cold regions before do let me know and if you are someone who eat yam often next time you're peeling your yam just cut a slice off and experiment as well the only thing you need to remember is that you need a lot of patience these things don't sprout quickly but i guess if you put like a eating mat or grow light it will speed up the process what i did for the yellow yam that i had on the windowsill 
I had it in a container and I just put a plastic over it to mimic like a greenhouse scenario. So that's what I did for that yam. So guys, if you like this video, remember to share, 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 share. Tell people that it's possible to get yam sprouted and growing in cold UK. Share with your families and friends. And if you like this video, please remember the thumbs up. It does help. And remember to like, share, and subscribe, and share my journey. You see loads of updates within like two weeks time. Then the weather is promised to be nice. You should see how big and thing this is coming up. So later on today, I don't have the exact states um, trellis that I need to go these up. So I'm gonna go out and source them, and then I'm gonna put up the yam sticks and everything so this can grow up nicely. So thanks again for watching guys thanks for viewing go out experiment come out of your comfort zone and thanks again for watching take care bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell